Okay, I got a couple things done today that were on my list of uh, things to do in the shop build. Um, didn't really build anything today, but what I did do <clears throat> is I cleaned up my lathe. Um, of course, you know, in the last segment, I talked about this riser that I made for the uh, XY table. Um, and that uh, setup right there is what turns the inside diameter of the shell. But this jewel right here is what turns the outside diameter of the shell. And uh, that right there is a diamond tip, I think it is. I forgot what they called that, but it's an indexable, um, super, super high quality bit that's on the end of that. You can see that you can flip that thing around uh, by taking that set screw out of there. Or not set screw, but the uh, Allen screw. So anyway, <clears throat> cleaned that up. Um, lube the chain and so forth so it moves nicely uh clean the ways of the bed um as well as just the exterior of the lathe and uh got everything kind of tuned up and ready to go so um and then i've got my other auxiliary pieces down here these wheels uh, are for holding the shell um when i go in to make cuts with the, this uh xy table set up because otherwise um, particularly on a longer shell you can get some chatter which can wreak havoc um, in the turning operation but since i'm only going to be doing uh, snare drums um, they probably won't be needed uh, but i'll use them if if needed they're, they're, they're there anyway so that's pretty much it on that so this thing is ready to go i'm just going to leave it set up all the time um, unless there's something else that I want to turn, maybe a bowl or a pen or something like that. But uh, I also, uh, these holders right here, these, these legs that hold this thing up were rusted, so I cleaned them up with my wire wheel and repainted those and nicened that up a little bit. So, yeah, that's the lathe now. And of course, we already went over the uh, buffing wheels and auxiliary pieces that I have over here. The other thing I got done today was I tuned up my shaper. Um, I had to, let me grab a flashlight so I can show you. Um, it was real stiff, uh, had been for years actually on uh, this hand wheel and such that I, uh, I actually took that off at one point and put a pair of vice grips on it. So I had more leverage to raise the thing up and down. Um, I can't remember why I didn't. I think I made some adjustments years ago on this, but um, it definitely worked today as well as cleaning. But um, if you look inside here, there are some uh, uh, set screws, one, two, three, four. And those set screws are used to adjust uh, the jibs, it's called, or gibs, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it basically takes up the slack uh, against that rail right there that this um, arbor rides up and down. <clears throat> so it's not, you know, moving side to side. Uh, but you don't want them so tight that it doesn't move. It's just you want them barely kissing the surface of the, of the ways there that that uh, arbor is riding up and down on so that it keeps it, um, you know, then you kind of wobble out of there. So <clears throat> I adjusted those. I cleaned the, the ways themselves and uh, lubricated them thoroughly with WD-40 and then I cleaned the top of the uh, you know the surface of the table with a wire wheel and just went to town with it and then I steel wooled it and um, and then waxed it so it's uh, nice and slick now but uh, so that one that one is working again and it moves pretty well no problem so that's taken care of. Now I need to take my chamfer bit. I've got two of these. So I got a larger one. Take them to uh, the woodwork shop and have them. Uh, there's a company that sharpens saw blades and router bits and so forth. Need to have them sharpen that for me. But so tomorrow I'm probably going to work on this spray booth here. Just kind of trim out the edges here and, and down here with some oak. That'll look nice. And then uh, maybe I've got some leftover oak. I gotta get a little bit more just for that wider piece at the bottom. But, and then here, probably trim that out uh, with some leftover ash that I've got. 
It will match what's already there, including the uh, fence that I made for the miter saw. So, yep, little by little, it's getting uh, fixed up and ready to go. Ho hopefully be taking orders before too long. All right, see you next time.